Good morning, 47. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network, while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. TV in time for the World Cup. I still can't believe it. Oh, meeting Steve Power in a local bar in a tiny village like this. I mean, he's only the biggest celebrity tattoo artist in the world. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. Ooh, could be. 
Lucky guy. I wish I could afford one of his pieces. Ah, his work isn't that impressive. All he really seems to be doing is touch-ups and cover-ups of botched work on that reality TV show of his. Improving on stuff that looks like crap probably isn't too hard, you know? I think you're wrong. His line work is to die for. I still say he's a poser. Look at his sleeves. For crying out loud, those are obviously fake. Tell you what, let's go back to the bar and spy on him some more. I'll prove it to you. We're never gonna find that hostel on our own anyway. Fine by me. Really him. You know, I didn't even think about that. Um, would it be too much to ask for an autograph? Well, as long as you don't ask him to sign your chest, I'm guessing it's okay. Oh, well, there goes that idea. still don't think it's the real P power. I just don't see what he'd be doing here. But tell you what, I'll drop inside the bar and have a closer look. Well, I'm gonna stay out here and try and snap a few pictures of him. <sighs> They'll be worth so much when you prove he's the real deal. Dream on, darling. That is P power. Real name, Paul Powers celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. Hello there, sir. No. No. No, no, no. No. Hey, lady. I'm trying to make a phone call here. Buzz off, will ya? Oye, are you okay? Ay, andate la mierda. It's like you're running a fever or something. Fine, just need to pull out here. All right. Let me know if you need anything hey, cold to drink. Hey, back off a bit, would ya? You have to get me the hell out of here. I'm stuck in some tequila bar in the middle of nowhere. I can't get out. Dexy, send help. Mate, I'm telling you, I've been in some crazy shit before, but this takes the cake. Uh huh. You know where I'm supposed to be right now? The Delgado Mansion. Just knock on the front gate, they said. And then what? Walk in and tattoo the world's most notorious cartel boss. I can see how that's not easy. I heard he kills people. Just for fun. Imagine what he'd do to me if I messed up. Well, sure, he's dangerous. But it's his wife you need to look out for, caballero. I'm a dead man. Dexy, it's me again. I think this drug lord is gonna kill me. If I mess up, he's going to kill me. You have to help me here. Call me ASAP. So exactly how dangerous is this Delgado character, really? How steady are your hands? I don't follow. Bueno, let me put it this way. If he or his wife isn't happy with your work, his hippo gets a free meal. That, that's terrible. Yeah, Dexy, it's me. Look, I'm in real trouble here. Call me back, all right? 
I heard Delgado has a bad temper, is that right? He has been known to be somewhat explosive from time to time. But the really dangerous one is Hector, his brother. Ah, oh, great. There's a brother too, of course. He once killed a man with his bare hands just because he sneezed around him. He's really tightly wound up. Well, with my luck, I'm sure to run into him as well. So, I guess Delgado's pretty rich, hmm? I suppose. Rumor have it, he's got cash in his closet, under his bed, everywhere, too long. Not that it is the village of Santa Fortuna any good. He's stingy. He spent everything here to be free for him and his sicarios. It makes it hard to run a business, you know? Hey, put the money back. Those are my tips, man. What the hell? Can't just go around taking people's money, malvado. That's stealing. Yeah, that's right. Keep walking out of here. You're not welcome. Fuera! <laughs> Drug Lord is gonna kill me. If I mess up, he's going to kill me. You have to help me here. Call me ASAP. Mate, I'm telling you, this is the worst day of my life. Absolutely the worst. Is that so? Well, it's this Rico Delgado character, isn't it? I'm supposed to be on my way to do some sort of tattoo cover-up work on him. Could be worse. You could be lying dead in a ditch somewhere. Well, well, shit, that's the problem, isn't it? Did you know he runs the biggest drug cartel in Colombia? I've had experience with the Delgado family in the past, yes. He's one of the most dangerous men in the country. One false move, and I'm dead. I think you're right about that, sir. Maybe it'll be all right. Maybe this Delgado fellow isn't that dangerous after all. It could all be rumors, right? Mm-hmm. You don't say, sir. I'm thinking... Maybe I'll stay here until it gets dark, and then try to sneak out of town without Delgado or his goon noticing. I took a few martial arts classes. I'm pretty stealthy. Could be a good solution to your problem, sir. It's all my manager's fault. She told me to come here. Said it was completely harmless. Might help me break out of the reality TV genre and into more serious documentary stuff. I don't think she meant true crime shows. I think I need to drop her. Sounds like a wise idea, sir. Dexy, Dexy, damn it! Can you hear? Oh, this damn music! Dexy, hang on, I'm heading outside. Dexy, it's me again. I think this drug lord is going to kill me. If I mess up, he's going to kill me. You have to help me here. Call me ASAP. No, no.
Wow, it's really you. Pea power. Can I check out your sleeves? Look, it's you. Pea power. Oh, it's really you. Oh my god. I am your biggest fan. That's nice. That power guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to frisk you. And if you wanna pass, I need to look through your pockets. There's no two ways about it. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread carefully. Practically everyone here is dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. Well, you know, just security precaution. Okay, All right, you're Mr. good Bowen. to go. Pongale, Follow pongale. me to the house. Mrs. Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. Uh, the celebrity tattoo guy is here. My sister got a tattoo once. It was supposed to be a tribute to her son, but the guy fucked it up. The big Gustavo ended up looking like a dead chupacabra. When my brother-in-law saw the tattoo, he went down to the guy's house, shot him dead, which was kind of dumb because he was the only tattoo artist around for a hundred miles. Interesting story. Thank you for sharing. I know. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. Oh my God, I can't really It's really you. Be power. It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart from the arm of the dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Ah, oh, see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool, Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico, let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Just look this way. Oh, can see. Wow, we look so good together. This is great. Hey, babe. Hey, baby. So, this is the famous P Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not been sitting in a stylist chair for days, but this is P Power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, enough. You know they fix all that in post-production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. Cut! I swear to God! 
Oh, stop being so grumpy, Rico. Can't you just go do that somewhere else? You're being such an ass right now, Rico. Are you... Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, tattoo guy, I'm watching you. One wrong move, y la vas a pidiendo. You hear me? Hey, relax, Jose. We're fine. Better safe than sorry, boss. Hey, I need you to stand down. Stop waving that thing around. No way. I'm letting my guard down around a stranger, Rico. So what are we waiting for, huh? I'm here, I'm ready. Get on with it. I need you to calm down a bit, Jose. Just making sure the script doesn't try anything funny. You're making me nervous, Jose. Put that thing away. I'm sorry, but I'm just doing my job, Patron. You are really getting on my nerves now. I'm just grabbing a few shots for the socials. Relax, Rico. You can't focus here, all right? What's the problem? You don't even have to do anything. Hey, listen, you're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. Just doing what's necessary, Rico. You're taking it too far, Jose. No guns. Afraid I can't do that, Patron. This person might get the jump on us. Cut! I swear to God! What? Am I not allowed to update my social channels anymore? Is that it? It's very distracting, kitty cat. Please stop now. I really can't see what the problem is. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Hey, relax, Jose. We're fine. Better safe than sorry, boss. Hey, I need you to stand down. Stop waving that thing around. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Jefe. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you, Guayuan. Oh, finally. So peace and quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. About this? No, no, not Rico. Hector, the other Delgado. Rico and Andrea know each other from way back in Bogota. Hector was kind of Rico's little hang around, baby brother, you know? Andrea and Rico were always super tight, but only as friends. I can't really imagine Hector and Martinez being an item. Well, from what I understand, it was explosive. Literally, he blew up her car one night after they had a fight ended that relationship real quick. I heard they raided Mexican pueblos together back in the day. Bonnie and Clyde kind of thing. There are lots of rumors about them, but most are fake. I'm not sure. He looked a little dead after I was finished with him. Boss?
Boss, you in here, boss? I'm coming in, parce. Don't even get me started, Gina. I'm telling you, if he doesn't fix that tattoo, I'm not going to be responsible for my own actions. Well, there's a tattoo artist coming to the house today, and he's going to update the tattoo to make it look like me again. If Rico doesn't let him, I'll stab that cheating bastard in the neck and let him bleed out. That's what I'll do. That's strange. Where is it? I'm sure I put it here. Shit! What is the damn letter? Did someone take it? Oh, sweet Santa Maria. Tell me nobody took the letter. If they took it, they must have read it. Okay, okay. Pull yourself together, Hector. Maybe it's just a... Fucking gone! Some bastards stole that letter, and now they're all reading it and laughing! The bastards! This is the worst thing ever. Take a deep breath. Is in there somewhere. Started out soft. From the heart. How oh, her eyes were like jewels. The longing in my heart. What was that phrase? Something, something in the sky with diamonds? No, no, that's not right. Oh, damn it! Did you hear Javier stole the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez? Had to jump out of a window before Hector discovered him. I think he hurt his leg in the process. Yeah, I heard. He even passed the letter around the basement bar at the party last night. Weird to think Hector and Martinez used to be an item. I mean, he's batshit crazy. She's so hyper luxurious. She can't even stand to be in her village mansion for too long. Talk about an old couple. Yeah, I'd love to see her face if she ever found a letter, though. Rumor has it, she hates him. That's my impression as well. Sad for Hector. He's still crazy about her.
tell you, she went crazy like I've never seen before. The only reason she calmed down was because she ran out of things to throw at him. It's a madhouse, and all because of some tattoo. Not just some tattoo. Mrs. Delgado is very sensitive about her looks and, well, she's not getting any younger, you know? She's been hiding all the old photographs of herself just because she doesn't want to face the fact. And that tattoo is just a constant reminder of what she used to look like. That explains all the shouting. and stocks appear to be stabilizing. Just in local news, one sources one. inside the government claim that the current administration has made an unofficial divide-and-conquer deal with Colombia's biggest drug baron, Rico Delgado, looking the other way in return for large campaign contributions. The president's office adamantly denies the accusations, but stateside, several members of the U.S. Congress find the reports highly disturbing and suggest launching a special inquiry. In other local news, it was the notorious hitman known as Curare who killed five Delgado cartel sicarios in Medellin last month and left their mutilated bodies in a so-called bracelet of shame, with their heads jammed up the posterior end of each other's anatomy. This is undoubtedly an escalation in the bloody conflict between the Delgado cartel and their northern rivals, the Moreno cartel. Authorities fear the feud will get worse before it gets better. The Miami Police Department issued a statement today calling the deaths of Kronstadt Industries' Robert and Sierra Knox during last week's Global Innovation Race an unfortunate accident. The peculiar circumstances and small statistical likelihood of a father and daughter dying tragically within moments of each other have made conspiracy theorists cry foul. Some point to a connection between the Knoxes and the assassinations of several other corporate leaders, such as Dynasty Global CEO Rupert Pierce in London, but so far, no organization has taken responsibility, nor do the MOs seem to match. Whether the awful events in Miami spell the end of the global innovation race, only time will tell. But this year's winner, Moses Lee of Kaun, has already proposed moving the race to Shanghai. And we remain in Shanghai, where local police discovered a safe house belonging to fugitive pirate king, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom was long believed to be dead, but his alleged involvement in the brutal assassination of construction conglomerate CEO Lin Shi indicates that the notorious South China Sea Pirate has advanced from pirate to anti-corporate terrorist. Chinese authorities have established a special task force to hunt down the Maelstrom and his crew. But apart from his Indian origin, little is known about the elusive master criminal, including what he looks like. In New York, the world's largest media conglomerate and GNN's parent company, Cross Holdings, got a new president today. The company's former COO will be taking over from late founder Thomas Cross, who was kidnapped by terror pens at his own son's funeral later murdered. So far, the market has responded favorably to the new management, and stocks appear to be stabilizing. This bodes well for this network, which, due to our liberal leanings, would no doubt have been first on the chopping block. Notice how Rico's been acting unusually brutal these past couple of days? Feels like he's upset about something. For sure, Mijo, his pet hippo, hasn't been himself lately, and the boss is really upset about it. A specialist thinks it might be food poisoning. Uh, really? That's interesting. What? What do you know? Well, uh, remember that treacherous mule we blocked last week? You asked me to dispose of the body, no? But we had run out of the jet fuel we normally use, and... I didn't want to hold the body all the way over to the construction site. 
I sort of fed the body to the hippo. You did? His body had half a kilo of cocaine hidden inside it. I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? You're dead. You are so dead. My love of animals is well known. From the skins of rare jaguars to the tasty meats of endangered turtles. I love them all. But Mijo, my pet hippo, means the most to me. Come on, chest out, chin up. I adopted Mijo the hippo after his mother was shot by local Senor, cultures. I feel you're he violating my personal space here. here at my estate ever since. Playful and kind, the hippo is loved by everyone in the Delgado mansion and surrounding compound. This baseball bat was for a long time my signature weapon. As a young man, yes, it comes I with the territory, but you're rich, man. And the bat was used as a persuasion while collecting the incense. Later, when I decided to leave the Morenos, was used one last time on my old boss. After that, the aptly named Head Splitter was retired. extra careful around the family items. Mr. Delgado got some important pictures and things like that in his trophy room that you need to be very gentle with. Sure, I understand. He told me about the cello and some of the other things. I had no idea the Delgado family immigrated from Chile. Well, Rico's uncle Fernando was from Chile. Apparently, he was killed alongside his son, Rico's cousin, in some freak accident. Rico is very sensitive about it. Sounds horrible. Hey, don't go too light on that. We're not cooking for infants and the elderly, eh? You think some dry apricot? But this? I think I'm gonna keep this short.
They never would have made it into the country without my help. You know how difficult it is to fake entry permits to the U.S. these days? I can only imagine. I have a cousin living there. He can't even get out of the country. Rose, Parvati, all those people Rico's friend wanted to get to Colorado. I spent three weeks creating documents, hacking databases, performing low-level hypnosis on them. Rose almost blew it at the airport, of course. That man was more neurotic than Sigmund Freud. Hypnosis? Really? Of course. Creating the identity on paper and in databases is only half the job. The recipient needs to live the new identity long enough to fool the authorities. Hypnosis helps them get into character. Huh. Franco's been suggesting that he can achieve the same with low doses of LSD. But trials on volunteers hasn't exactly been successful. So that was what all the screaming was about. Yeah. Becoming someone else isn't for everyone. such as Dynasty Global CEO Rupert Pierce in London. Yeah, but he so wrote it for Martinez. No organization has I'm telling you, this shit is publishable. He'd make a fortune settling down as a romantic the book writer. He the head out of that garden. Lady of the paper bags. Not sure what Martinez would say if she saw it. Hey, senor, you're making us feel safe. I understand you have a certain letter in your possession. Yeah, maybe. So what? Today, sir. It was the notorious hit band known as Curare who killed five Delgado cartel sicarios in Medellin's last Great to see somebody doing their job. a lot to offer if she just hear him out. Yeah, right. You don't think flooding her with gifts is only gonna put her off? It's a bit much.
I have a letter sure. from Miss Martinez. This is a restricted area. All right. Let me see that. Is that from Hector? I wouldn't know anything about that. Well, let me enlighten you. Hector Delgado and Andrea Martinez were an item once. Explosive and deadly. Things did not end well between them. He wants them to get back together. She wants them to go to hell. She's not accepting letters or gifts or anything from him. And neither am I. You put it on her desk yourself if it's so important to you. Oh, someone needs to clean up this mess. I don't want anything to do with that moronic Hector, no matter how many flowers or boxes of chocolates he sends me. Miss Martinez, I have this for you. A letter? Is that Hector's handwriting? I don't know, miss. I'd recognize that junked up scrawl anywhere. I don't want anything from that bum. Okay. I don't want anyone coming in until I let you know, all right? Sure thing. Just some pitiful cry for help or some shit like that. Let's just read it and get it over with. Ah, to hell with it. Let's see what that fool has to tell me. Let's see what he has to say. My, Hector, you romantic fool. 
I had no idea you still felt this way. Maybe... Hmm. But has he really changed? One thing to say all these things, these wonderful things. Another is to have actually changed. We did have some good times, Hector, it's true. But you're just too dangerous. A loose cannon. I can't trust you to do right by me. And yet I do feel some of those old emotions as well. No. No, I can't do this. This has to end. Better to let this letter and your words end up as food for the piranhas than let my heart end up there. We're through, and I will have none of this. Martinez is down. Good work. What's up, man? Sit down. Relax. The universe will correct itself again, right? I don't know, man. I've been, like, smuggling this cocaine souvenir around the world, right? I need to get it to this dude, uh, Franco. But, man, it, it broke. It's supposed to be in one piece when I deliver it over by some cave entrance behind the pharmacy, but... It broke. Bummer, man. Maybe just glue it together? I don't know. I think it's gonna ruin the taste test. This Franco guy is like a bloodhound, but, you know, with taste, not smell. You know? Yeah, man, that's too bad. I'd still try the glue, you know? Hola, recruto. Hey, man. You got some glue around here? Like, really solid stuff? Like, super, super glue? I believe I made that clear already. Find a store. Oh, man, that sounds like a massive hassle. Maybe later, you know? How may I help you today, senor? I'd like to buy some glue, please. No, I'm afraid we just ran out of that item, senor. I sold the last bottle to the mechanic next door. I know my last idea didn't pan out, 
but this beauty will. It is slower than a taxi, much more uncomfortable, and not as safe. Yet, it is cheaper than a taxi, and tourists will pay a lot more to ride one. It's incredible! Oye, ahora me acuerdo. I was the one who told you to sell this place the day you inherited. If you had listened to me, you wouldn't have to come up with all these half-baked schemes. Do you sell glue? A la puta! <sighs> Isn't someone else supposed to be doing this? So annoying. Up and running. Nice day. Oh yeah, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. Cool? What is this? This is just a job where they put the fuck out. You know, because... It's just as awkward for me as it is for you. Alright, cool. You're clean and good to go. Alright. Mr. Franco is expecting you in the caves below. I'll just radio the others. Hang on. Groovy. It's Carlos. Uh, Tell Franco this is his guest is here. Alright, come with me. Try not to get lost, okay? Play this kind of dangerous. I'll do my best. I thought your hippie types were only to the softer drugs. I'm surprised to see you working for Franco. Peace and love isn't really my thing.
So I guess all that make love not worth thing has sort of lost its luster, huh? I do what it takes to get what I need. Ah, so, despite an annoying delay, it's finally here. Let's have a look. It got through customs without a problem, we hope? I had no issues. Excellent. We're not sure whether this will pass the taste test, but that remains to be seen. Follow us, please. You don't happen to know somebody who could. Doesn't matter. Targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit.
area assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. Devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. 